For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Big O Tires presents On the Rubber. A look at both teams' pitching numbers. As we go to the top of the fourth, we'll give you those numbers as Devin Smith delivers high and away to Chad Call. BYU through three innings, four hits, four runs, all earned. Two strikeouts, three bases on balls, one wild pitch, 67 pitches for Jamison Ferraro. Devin Smith on the hill for UVU, the third UVU pitcher so far tonight. 1-0 goes to 1-1, one one, taken inside around the knees. Inside part of the frame against Call, one ball, one strike. UVU through three, two hits, four runs, all earned. Five strikeouts, four bases on balls, one wild pitch, and 70 pitches thrown by three Utah Valley pitchers. Devin Smith delivers outside for ball two. Two and one to Chad Call. 4-4 the score. BYU scored four in the top of the first. Have not scored since. Utah Valley one in the first, one in the second, and two in the third to make it a 4-4 ball game. Here we are, top four. And Chad Call in a 2-1 count goes to three and one. Chad in the first inning. Walked and was stranded. Call, Jones, and Sardina. The bottom of the order due up here in the fourth. The seven, eight, and nine hitters. Three balls, one strike from Devin Smith to Chad Call. And that's a walk, a five-pitch walk of Chad Call. So in two plate appearances, Chad Call has walked twice. And his reach safely streak has gone to seven games. It got to seven with that walk in the first. He now walks again in the fourth. Lead runner aboard for BYU on a bases on balls. On a base on balls. And Easton Jones, the third baseman, now bats. Easton Struck out swinging in the first to end the first inning. Smith delivers ball one high and outside. And out for a chat with the Utah Valley right-hander is the catcher, Lucas Piper. On first base is Chad Call with a leadoff walk. Easton Jones getting his third consecutive start at third base. The usual third baseman, Austin Deming, is banged up. And that's a big bat to not have in the lineup. A lot of good bats are missing right now. We'll get to that in a bit. The 1-0 taking off is Chad Calls. That's grounded foul down the third baseline. Count goes to 1-1. and Cole Gamble remains out. He's available to pinch hit, but he's got a bum ankle. Can't play center field. So Cole Gamble's out. Austin Deming's out. Ozzie Pratt is out. And Brock Watkins has been out for about a month. So those are good players not available to Trent Pratt right now. And, of course, there's been pitching injuries as well. Jack Sterner is on the mend. 1-1. And that's outside. A nice stab of the glove from Piper to keep that from bouncing away. Two balls and a strike now to Easton Jones. So Jack Sterner is out and missed a start last week. Peyton Goobler, Justice Riser remain out. Reed McLaughlin's out for the year. A 2-1. That's down and away for ball three. And then, of course, Colin Reuter, catcher, is out for the year as well. So... It's not been a full-strength team by any stretch this year for Trent Pratt. The Cougs now grinding away at 8-14 on the year coming in two tonight. The 3-1 from Smith, fouled to the backstop by Jones. Count goes full with one out and one on here in the top of the fourth inning. 4-4 is our score. Cole Gamble, you think, is close. We'll see how the Pratt and Deming situations go. And Brock Watkins... Hopefully within a week or two, we see him playing ball again. Like to see Peyton Goobler back. That may happen sooner than later. Foul back out of play as on the run was Chad Call with a full count. No one out. Riser less certain. And then Jack Sterner, too, I think is more of a rest situation. They thought maybe a couple or three starts might get him back and ready to go. So lots to monitor right now for BYU on the health front. Full count. To Easton Jones, the right-hander versus the right-hander. That's high, walk of Jones with call on the move. So back-to-back walks for BYU as they look to retake the lead here in the top of the fourth. Chad Call walked to lead off the fourth. Now Easton Jones follows with the base on balls. And Alex Sardina looking for his first hit of the year. No better time for it. It comes with a runner in scoring position. Alex on the season 0 for 14. And this is ninth game played. Has a couple of walks. Has struck out four times on the year. He squares to sacrifice and then pulls back to ball one. 
So one ball, no strikes to the nine-hole hitter, Alex Sardina, BYU's second baseman. Has nine assists in his eight previous games played, coming in two tonight. And has an assist on this night, the 1-0. And pops up the bunt attempt and will go to the screen. One ball, one strike. We'll see if Sardi squares again in an attempt to advance the runners. Call and Jones from second and first, respectively. So back-to-back walks for UVU pitching here in the fourth inning. Six walks issued by Utah Valley hurlers to five strikeouts. Squares and bunts it foul down the first baseline. So the bunt is now off. You would think for Alex Sardina. So one ball, two strikes, and now he'll have to hit away and stay in the count here at one and two. So the sacrifice not executed. And now on a one-two count, Sardi is going to zone in on Devin Smith, the big UVU right-hander. The one-two, and that's taken outside. Took the barrel off the shoulder to Sardi, but held back. Devin Smith, 6'3", 245 pounds. He pitched at Lehigh High School. Brother Carter Smith, also from Lehigh, pitched at Sky Ridge High School. The new one there in Lehigh. The 2-2 to Sardi. And that's well outside. And a nice backhanded stab again by Lucas Piper to keep that from advancing the runners. So Smith's also been all over the place here in terms of the zone. And there's a pitcher up in the UVU pen. A right-hander throwing. They've already used three pitchers. BYU's only gone with one to this point. We'll see if... Jamison Ferraro's night is done or not here in the bottom of the fourth. A swing and a miss from Sardi. And Alex still looking for his first hit of the year. Won't get it there. Two runners stay on. Top of the order now for BYU. Sardi has struck out swinging in the second and the fourth innings. Leadoff hitter in the order. And fourth hitter in the inning is Tate Gamble. Gamble has struck out twice. So the nine hitters and the one hitter are 0 for 4 with 4 strikeouts and all swinging and Tate takes strike 1 Tate Gamble forwards K in the 1st and the 2nd he bats now in the 4th 2 on and 1 out in a 4-4 ball game BYU scored 4 in the top of the 1st Utah Valley 1 in the 1st 1 in the 2nd 2 in the 3rd here we are top 4 squared up Gamble left handed hitter facing the righty Smith and that does get away from Lucas Piper runners will advance a wild pitch puts runners in scoring position. So Chad Call to third. Easton Jones to second. And now two runners in scoring position now for Tate Gamble. Tate Gamble with runners in scoring position, hitting just 154 on the year, hitting 178. But good at getting on base. Third on the team in OBP at 413 now on the year. But looking to get aboard for the first time tonight. He's the walks leader. He's in a 1-1 count to Devin Smith. Second and third for the Cougs. Tie ball game. That's a breaking ball that never dropped. And that'll be ball two from Smith to Tate Gamble. Tate Gamble's reached a safely streak. is five games and holding right now. The 2-1 to the Cougar center fielder. Left-handed hitter in the box. Right-hander on the hill in Devin Smith. Number 99. Kicks and deals. Top of the frame, strike two. Tate Gamble finds himself in an even count. Chad Call let off with a walk. Easton Jones followed with a walk. Wild pitch puts them at third and second. Sardi strikes out. Gamble in a 2-2 count. Here we go. Two runners in scoring position. Again, a breaker stays up top. Count goes full with one out and first base clear. Will the Cougar walks leader... Get his team leading 18th free pass. And load the bases. The 3-2 from Devin Smith to Tate Gamble. One out, two on, tie game. And didn't get the call. Tate Gamble will take his base. Devin Smith, disgusted. Slaps the glove down as he catches the throwback from Lucas Piper and just missed him on the outside edge and so for Tate Gamble that's now six games in a row reaching safely and on a base on balls the Cougs load the bases all on walks here in the fourth 
for Luke Anderson. Anderson has walked twice in two plate appearances. Walked and scored in the first. Walked and was stranded in the second. And takes high and outside for ball one. Devin Smith. In a jam in the top of the fourth. Base is loaded for BYU. Last time they were juiced. Cooper Vest. Yard work. Grand slam in the first. BYU seventh. Base is loaded hit this year. The 1-0. Goes to 2 and 0. Devin Smith can't find the zone. BYU 7 for 25, 280 in bases loaded situations this year. The seventh hit was a big one. Cooper Vest, top of the first. Grand Slam power alley and left. The 2 0 from Smith to Anderson. Bases loaded. Top 4, 4 4 the score. And that sliced opposite field will not get down. It'll be well fouled into the Cougar bullpen. Two balls and a strike with one gone. Luke Anderson on the year. Batting 357 with runners in scoring position. Doesn't yet have a bases loaded hit. Just 0 for 1 with the sacks stacked on the year. The 2 1. And that's lifted in the air to right field. The right fielder Halverson back to the track. Makes the catch on the warning track. It'll be deep enough to score a run and advance a runner from second to third. Scoring from third is Chad Call and the Cougs take the lead back at 5-4. to four. So the leadoff walk scores for BYU and Chad Call. It's a sack fly for Luke Anderson on a fly out to right and the Cougs go up 5-4 to four. advancing to third. Easton Jones on the sack fly from Anderson. Holding it first is Tate Gamble. So runners on the corners now and two gone for Ryan Sapiti. A big bat in a high leverage situation. And a mound visit for UVU. Devin Smith's thrown 37 pitches as the third pitcher of the night for UVU. 5-4 BYU. The Cougs have scored here in the top of the fourth. And that'll be it for Devin Smith. His night is done. So we'll take a break of a minute. We'll come back with a new Utah Valley pitcher. BYU 5, UVU 4 is our new score. Top four on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. New pitcher for Utah Valley with the Wolverines now trailing 5-4 is Reese Rodabaugh. Jersey number 25, making his sixth appearance of the year. He's gone seven and two-thirds in five previous stints. Seven hits allowed in those seven and two-thirds. He's given up six runs, but only two of them earned. His strikeout to walk ratio one to one at seven Ks and seven free passes. His ERA, a pretty tidy 2.35, and his one loss record is one and oh. And Reese Rodebaugh will enter with runners on the corners for BYU. Two outs in the top of the fourth, and BYU taking a five to four lead. The Cougs take the lead on a Luke Anderson sacrifice fly with the bases loaded. It came after Chad Call walked, Easton Jones walked, Alex Sardina struck out, Tate Gamble walked, and so the bases were stacked, stacked on walks, nothing but walks. And then Luke Anderson, a sack fly to right. So the Kooks have their fifth run without a hit here in the fourth inning. BYU five runs on two hits. That's hard to do, get five runs on two hits. When one of the hits is a grand slam, it helps a great deal. And that was what the case was in the first inning with Cooper Vest going yard with the sacks stacked. And that was after UBU gave up two walks and a single in the first. The Grand Slam cleared the bases. They walked one more that inning, walked a runner again in the second, and then three walks issued here in the fourth. So Utah Valley pitching, struggling to find the zone. Seven bases on balls through three and two-thirds innings. And three of the batters UBU has walked have come around to score so far tonight. Here we go, Rodabaugh facing Ryan Sapiti with two gone and runners on the corners. And he delivers low and away for ball one. Reese Rodabaugh, the fourth Utah Valley pitcher of this night. Jamison Ferraro has gone all the way for BYU to this point. The 1-0. Breaking ball settles in for strike one. One and one the count. Rodabaugh. Three-pitch mix, fastball in the high 80s, slider in the mid to high 70s, and a change in the high 70s to low 80s, the 1-1. Check swing by Sapiti. 
He goes for strike two. The one-two to Sapiti. He walked and scored in the first on the best grand slam. He then struck out swinging to end the second inning. So Sapiti is 0 for 1 tonight with a base on balls and a run scored. Seven game reach streak now for Sapiti. The 1 2. And a backward K. Barrel on the shoulder. And a punch out for the third out. Sapiti retired for the second time via strikes. And we go to the bottom of the fourth for BYU. One run, no hits. There were no errors, and two were left on. We go bottom four. 5 4, our new score. Cougs lead the Wolverines on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. It is time for a PZ Printing pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. PZ Printing, nothing inspires like print. Well, we saw Devin Smith pitch for UVU tonight. Smith, Devin, went one and two thirds. Gave up no hits, a run. It was earned. He walked three and struck out one. So we saw Devin Smith for UVU, and now we see Devin's brother Carter for BYU. Carter Smith enters the game for the Kooks. Carter making his seventh appearance. Has gone five and a third, given up seven hits, 13 runs, 11 of them earned. Has struck out two and walked 12, and that's fouled back to the screen by Cal- Callan Halverson. The leadoff batter here in the bottom of the fourth for Utah Valley. BYU 5 and UVU 4. That is our score. The Cougs 5 runs on only 2 hits. UVU 4 runs on 4 hits. Carter Smith, new pitcher for BYU, second of the night on the hill for the Cougs. Low and away for 1-1. One and one. Jameson Ferraro, a new season-long three-inning outing and a new season-high 67 pitches thrown. Leaves the game with his team leading 5-4. to four. Ferraro gave up four hits, four runs, all of them earned. Struck out two and walked three, one wild pitch. Gave up a single, a double, a triple, and a home run. Grounder foul down the third baseline. Goes to two balls and two strikes. Leadoff batter here in the fourth is Callan Halverson, the right fielder. Grounded out 5-3 in the second inning. 0 for 1 tonight. Three game hit streak coming into the evening. Carter Smith, right hander on the hill. Right handed bat of Halverson. In the box, the eight hitter in the lineup. The 2 2. Foul back out of play. Count stays 2 and 2. Carter Smith's ERA coming in 2 tonight, 18.56. His high pitch count on the year came in his first outing of the year. It was a start at La Tech. He went 49 pitches, went 1 and 2 thirds in that start. Breaking ball and a strikeout. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Carter. And out number one in inning number four. So one gone. And the nine-hole hitter, Lucas Piper, who hit a solo home run in the second to make it a 4-2 ball game. Checks in against Carter Smith. Four-pitch mix for Carter. We'll give you more on that. After the first pitch of the at-bat, and that's inside. Breaker missing for ball one. Fastball topping out around 95 when Carter's got it going. His change in the high 70s to around 80. A good slider and curve. Slider in the high 70s to low 80s. And a curve in the high 70s, and that misses for strike two. Maggie Part missing for ball two. The slider from Smith to Piper. Callan Halverson, a strikeout victim for the first out here in the fourth. And a change up from Carter Smith. Fools Piper for strike one. Two balls and a strike. One out and no one on here in the bottom of the fourth. Cougs up 5-4. 2-1 to Piper. Inside around the kneecaps. Three balls and a strike to the UVU catcher. Last week in Provo, Piper went one for five with a run scored and an RBI in that four-run second for UVU last week and solo home run on his first at-bat in this one. And that's fisted to left center, making a break and running to his right to make the catch is Tate Gamble. And two are gone for UVU now in the bottom of the fourth. So top of the order and third hitter in the inning, Daniel Dickinson. He walked and scored in the first. 
And then lined out to Jacob Wilk in the second for the final out of the second. He bats now in the fourth. Two out and the base is clear. And the Wolverines trailing it by one. BYU was in a tie game through three. This game was 4-4 after three. Interesting stat about BYU in tie games after three. Called strike. Carter Smith's got a good thing going here out of the pen. Retires the first two batters he faces, strikeout and a flyout. And appears to be finding his spots. 0-1 from Carter. Daniel Dickinson, the right-handed hitting leadoff hitter in the order. And that's a slider catching the outside part of the frame for strike two. So Carter really does have it going. 0-2 against Daniel Dickinson. Righty in the box and righty on the hill. BYU, when tied after three this year, is 0-5, looking to break that. And that's check swing, swinging through it. The ball is dropped by Parker Goff. He'll fire to first to make it official. And so two strikeouts. Carter Smith, a really nice half inning of work. He looks good. The Cougars lead by one after four. Top five coming up. Cougars five and UVU four. That's our score for UVU in the bottom of the fourth. No runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on. Cougs by one. More Cougar baseball next year on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. And we rejoin just as Jacob Wilk lines a single to left for his second hit of the night. Wilk. With a single and scoring in the first, grounding out in the third, now singling in the fifth. And the Kooks have the lead batter aboard in a 5-4 ball game. BYU 5 and UVU 4, that is our score. And Cooper Vest with a grand slam in the first and a 4-3 ground out in the third. Bats now on a 1-for-2 night and takes low and away from Reese Rodebaugh. BYU baseball brought to you by All Pro Capital. All Pro Capital, put your money to work with smart real estate investments. Visit allprocapital.com for more information. All Pro Capital, a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. Kooks five runs on three hits. UVU four runs on four. That's taken low by Coop for ball two. Two balls, no strikes from Reese Rodebaugh to the Cougar DH tonight. Cooper Vest, his hit streak is now 10. His fifth home run of the year is his first grand slam of his career. It put the Cougs on top 4-0. UVU tied the score. BYU's gone back in front. 5-4. 5-4. to four. A pop-up to center field. Patrick Mills jogging in. Make, ooh, it did work a little bit for that. The fans kind of, ooh, because that was a, a reach-out catch on a simple jog in by Mills, but he makes the catch in center. And one gone for BYU. Jacob Wilk stays at first base. Batting now the six-hole hitter. Parker Goff moving up from the nine spot to the six spot. Such a good bat he has had. Since getting into the lineup, he flew out to right in the first and grounded out to short in the third. 0 for 2 tonight. Four-game hit streak for Parker coming in two tonight. He's had a hit in every game he's played for BYU. He'll take in the dirt for ball one from Reese Rodebaugh. First of five on the road for BYU. We'll take off for Spokane tomorrow. Gonzaga Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then Washington State in Pullman on Monday. The early midweek game is an early week game next week. That's sky high to short left. Shortstop Broussard back, catching the left fielder in, and he makes the catch for out number two. So back-to-back flyouts after a Jacob Wilk leadoff single here in the fifth. Vest flies out to right, and Goff flies out to left. Or I should say flies out to center, did Cooper Vest. That was the center fielder Mills making the catch for out number one here of inning number five. So Vest flying out to center, and Goff flying out to left. Now it's Chad Call who walked and was stranded in the first, walked and scored in the fourth. And that run scored in the fourth is the go-ahead run for BYU in a 5-4 ball game. Strike taken by call from Reese Rodebaugh. We just saw Carter Smith come in and retire the side in order, and that's the first time UVU's been retired in order this game. That happened in the fourth. A strikeout, a flyout, and a strikeout for Carter Smith. The 0-1 taking off his call, and on a pitch out, the throw to second is late. And Call has himself a stolen base. Beg your pardon, Wilk has himself a stolen base here in the fifth inning. Chad Call in the box. Jacob Wilk on the base paths. And Jacob Wilk on his first stolen base try of the year has his first bag swipe of the year. So Wilk's at second. Call has a 1-1 count. And that's low for ball two. So 2-1 two and one to Call with Jacob Wilk taking off. And stealing second. BYU now with its 10th stolen base of the year. BYU 10 for 18 on stolen base tries. They 
the 2 1. Breaking ball low, checking his swing was call. 3 1. So Rodobaugh's got to make a pitch or put two aboard for Easton Jones. Easton Jones is on deck. Easton 0 for 1 tonight with a strikeout. Chad call. No official at bats yet. Walking twice. Scoring a run. The 3 1. Missed it. So a five pitch walk of Chad Call. He's reached base three times on three walks. So Chad Call has seen his reaching streak go to seven consecutive games with his first walk tonight. He's walked in his second and third plate appearances. Easton Jones, strikeout and a walk on his night. He walked and was stranded in the Cougars' fourth inning. We're in the top of the fifth, BYU 5 and UVU 4. The score, first and second for Jones. Jones to center. Center fielder Mills is back and to the track and can't make the catch. Two runs are going to score. And it'll be a stand-up double for Easton Jones. Sliding in is Chad Call with the Cougs' seventh run. Wilt scores the sixth. Chad Call the seventh. It's a two-run, two-out double for Easton Jones. And the Cougs go up 7-4. to four. That was hammered to center. And Mills made the jog back. Flung up the leather but couldn't catch it. It bounces to the wall in straightaway center. Wilk scores from second. Call comes around to score from first. Slides ahead of the throw. Plenty of time ahead of the throw. And with two out, two more score. BYU's up 7-4. to four. So two runs score in the inning. A two-out double for Easton Jones. Alex Sardina swings and misses strike one for Sardi. Sardina over 16 on the year, looking for base hit number one. It might score a run here in the fifth. Grounder to short. Shortstop Roussard handles. Fires over to first, and that'll do it for BYU. But the Cougs do score two runs on two hits. There were no errors, and there was a runner left on. 7-4. to four. Cougs take a 3-1 lead. We're halfway home here at UVU. We go to the bottom of the fifth next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. One ball, no strikes to the Wolverines' leadoff hitter here in the fifth inning. Bottom of the fifth, Patrick Mills, 2-0 now from Carter Smith. A 45-degree night. It feels like a 40 with a slight wind out to center field. The 2-0 from Carter Smith to Mills. Mills in the air to straightaway center. Gamble back and then forward, and it drops between the second baseman and center fielder. Wilk will cover second, but it's a bloop double for Patrick Mills. And Tate Gamble started back off the bat, then had to run in and wasn't in time as it dropped beneath the inrushing Tate Gamble and the outrushing Chad Call right on the Wolverine head logo in short center field. And so that fool gamble off the bat. Might have got down anyway, but either way, it's a leadoff double for Patrick Mills in a 7-4 ball game. BYU 7, UVU 4, bottom 5. We're halfway home here at UCCU Ballpark. Mills has his first hit of the night, and it's a bloop double to straightaway center. BYU 4 in the first, 1 in the fourth, 2 in the fifth for 7. UVU 1 in the first, 1 in the second, 2 in the third. High and tight on Spencer Olsen for ball 1. Carter Smith, an excellent first inning of work in the fourth. He got strikeout, flyout, strikeout. Now gives up a leadoff loop double to Patrick Mills in his second inning of work. Jamison Ferraro went the first three, and Carter Smith with a breaking ball in for strike one. Evens the count on the UVU DH. A walk in the first for Olsen. He was stranded. Then a 4-6-3 ground out. 4-6-3, 4-6-3, normally a DP. That was a 4-6-3 for one out. That was, it was deflected from the second baseman to the shortstop, then thrown to first. And that is a breaking ball that stayed inside, too far inside for two balls and a strike to Spencer Olsen. Olsen looking for his first hit of the year. He is 0 for 6 on the season. Just getting his second start, both at DH, and takes a piped-in strike two. Carter Smith in a 2-2 count. BYU 7, UVU 4. The Cougs have not trailed. They led 4-0. UVU tied the game at 4. 
And the Cougs untie with one in the fourth to go up 5-4. Two more in the fifth. 7-4 our score, bottom five. BYU seven runs on only four hits. The Cougs have been out hit tonight, 5-4. to four. And a swing and a miss. Carter Smith's third strikeout and all the swinging variety. And one gone for UVU in the bottom of the fifth. Carter Smith in full command of his pitch arsenal. And Trey Cutchin will now hit for the Wolverines. BYU playing for a 15th straight win over UVU. The Cougs have a win over Utah, a win over UVU, and a loss to Utah Tech in the in-state game so far this year. Down and in. Slider missing for ball one. BYU and it scores seven or more is seven and four on the year. In fact, BYU's only win with fewer than seven runs came in the nightcap against St. Mary's on Saturday, a 4-3 win. And that's strike one is fooled onto this Trey Cutchin out front of a change from Carter Smith. So one and one the count, one out, one on. The one on is Patrick Mills with the leadoff loop double here in the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, seven to four, Cougs up here in Orem. That's well away for ball two. Cutchins' last at-bat was an RBI triple. Scoring Patrick Mills. And Mills is on second for Luna here in his next plate appearance. The 2-1 from Carter Smith to Trey Cutchin. Cutchin, the left fielder. That slider missing down and in for ball three. Three and one from Smith to Cutchin. Patrick Mills leadoff double. Spencer Olsen swinging strikeout. One out, one on. Bottom five. Tying run is on deck in Cole Jordan. BYU in navy and gray. UVU in the white with black pinstripes. And turning away from what he thought was ball four was Trey Cutchin, but it's strike two as called by Jeff Clough. Cutchin thought he was on his way to first. Instead, he's back in the batter's box in a full count. 3-2, one out, one on. Smith kicks and deals. Grounded up the middle. Deep at second is call. Handles, fires to Wilk. And a 6-3 ground out. Two are out. Advancing to third on the play is Mills. Well handled by call. Chad call. Sprinting to his left to snag that ground ball behind second base. Squares and fires to Wilk. And on the 6-3 ground out, two are gone for UVU in the bottom of the fifth. On third is Mills. The sack fly out of play for Cole Jordan. Jordan grounded out 1-3 in the first and caught looking in the third. He bats now in the fifth. The Wolverines' fifth run is 90 feet away. And a breaker in for strike one from Carter Smith. He has looked good in one and two-thirds innings of work. Three strikeouts. In his five outs so far. Missing away for ball one. One ball. One strike. Two out. One on. The one on is Patrick Mills at third. A double. And advancing on a 6-3 ground out. Cole Jordan. Three doubles in the game against BYU last week. The 1-1. One, one. Missed at top of the frame. Two balls and a strike. was 4 for 5 with a run scored in that BYU game last Tuesday and of his 4 hits 3 were doubles his last game he had a 3 run home run against Tarleton down in St. George that misses inside sliding out of his crouch to keep that in front of him is Parker Goff so 3 balls and a strike Carter Smith down on the count 3-1 with 2 out and 1 on bottom 5 BYU 7 UVU 4 Another high-scoring game for BYU against the Wolverines. And that is right down the heart to fill the count. Three balls, two strikes, and two out. The full count facing Cole Jordan. Jordan, the five-hitter in the lineup and the fourth hitter in the inning. Mills leading off with a double. Strike out of Olsen, ground out of Cutchin. Cole Jordan now the 3-2 and missed it. Low and away, he walks Cole Jordan. Runners on the corners now for UVU with Brandon Luna who singled home a run in his last at-bat, batting, with two gone. Luna, Luna, the first baseman, didn't get into the BYU game last week at Miller Park. In fact, had only two at-bats in his last 16 days coming in two tonight. 
has two at-bats in this game and is one for two with a ground out and a run scoring single in a two-run third for UVU. Seven to four, Cougs up three. Bottom five here at Orem. Changing them up is Carter Smith. Strike one on a swing and miss from Luna. Jersey number 44. White jerseys and pants, black pinstripes and a 44. Shades of Reggie Jackson from Brandon Luna in the box. As advancing to second is Cole Jordan to create second and third. Was that a balk called on Carter Smith? Carter Goff, or Parker Goff caught a high ball outside and advancing without a throw was Cole Jordan. He's at second, second and third now with two out. It's called a straight steal. It was weird because there was no throw from Parker. I guess, you know what, I don't, I don't think there was a fielder ready to handle his throw. That's what happened. So Cole Jordan gets a, an unusual stolen base. Has no throw from Parker Goff, and he was ready to come up firing 2-1 meantime. And that's well out in front of it. A healthy hack. That was uh, Reggie-esque. He tried to swing from the heels there, but it was a changeup, and he was well out in front of it. So 2-2 two two with two gone and two on. Tying run at the plate in Brandon Luna. No home runs on the year. Carter Smith, right-hander on the hill to the left-handed hitting Luna, and that's down and around the ankles for another full count. So Carter was kind of dotting the zone at will, and now he's uh, laboring just a little bit to find his spots. Full count, two out, two on. Tying run at the plate in Brandon Luna. Jordan on second, Mills on third, two runners in scoring position. And it's a backwards K. What a pitch! Carter Smith is fired up right at the knees, inside part of the frame. Carter Smith punches him out. Barrel on the shoulder, backward K. Four Ks on the night for Smith. And we go to the top of the sixth for Utah Valley. No runs on a hit, there were no errors, and two were left on. Cougars 7, Wolverines 4, our score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. New pitcher for Utah Valley is Drew Woody. And the first southpaw we're going to see for Utah Valley tonight. So Woody takes the hill as Utah Valley's fifth pitcher of the night. And our score is BYU 7 and UVU 4. Checking on Drew Woody's season. His last appearance came one week ago tonight at BYU. He went one and a third in that game. Gave up two hits, a run. It was earned. Walked one, struck out one. On the year, six and two-thirds innings, five hits allowed, three runs all earned. Has struck out six and walked four. He will face Tate Gamble. Gamble leading off the batting order and leading off the inning. Tate tonight has a swinging strikeout in the first, a swinging strikeout in the second, and then a walk in the fourth. He was stranded, but it extended his reach streak to six games. And it's his 18th walk of the year. And those 18 walks lead all BYU players. Two zero. meantime, from Woody to Gamble. Lefty on the hill, left-handed hitter in the box. And leaning back away from ball three is Gamble. So three consecutive balls delivered by Woody to Gamble, BYU's walks leader, and third on the team in on-base percentage. A 3-0. That's four-pitch walk. Tate Gamble does it again. Walk number 19 on the year. And again, for a guy that doesn't play in every game, this is his 20th of 23 games. Tate Gamble's got a pretty healthy lead in the base on balls category. And so Gamble leading off the BYU sixth with his second walk of the night and 19th of the year. Lead walk for Luke Anderson. Anderson, right-handed hitter, takes high. So it's five straight balls from Drew Woody out of the bullpen. Drew Woody, southpaw. Luke Anderson, sack fly in his last at-bat. Last plate appearance. Anderson officially 0 for 3 tonight with a run on an RBI. 
And you go 0 for 3, but end up with a run on an RBI by walking in the first and being driven in on a grand slam. Then walking in the second and being stranded. And then hitting a sack fly to right in the fourth. That was a one-run fourth for BYU. It's the uh, winning run as of the moment. It put BYU up 5-4. to four. The Cougs have added two more and lead it 7-4. to four. The Cougs have one Zions Bank home run tonight. Home runs brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you game plan for life, Zions Bank is for you. It was a grand slam by Cooper Vest in the first inning. 7-4, Cougs lead. 2-0 goes to 2-1. There's a strike after six straight balls out of the pen by Woody. It's down around the knees, but inside part of the frame. For strike one, 2-1 on the count. Ball three to Anderson. BYU's left fielder Anderson getting his third consecutive left field start tonight. 3-1 to Luke. And slices that opposite field out of play down the right field line. Take gambles at first. So three balls, two strikes. Count as full to Luke. Holds the bat almost vertical. Above his right shoulder, now leans it back, waggles it, and takes a cut at another foul out of play down the right field line. Count stays three and two. On the move was take Gamble. He'll jog back to first. Gamble at first, no one out here in the top of the sixth. BYU leading it seven to four. Cougs broke on top, four nothing in the first. Four one after one, four two after two, four four after three. And the Cougs have scored the last three, one in the fourth, two in the fifth to go up seven to four. Drew Woody from the stretch, winds and deals. And a pretty abbreviated wind-up at that. Misses on a full count, in tight for back-to-back walks. Tate Gamble goes to second. Luke Anderson at first. And Luke Anderson still without an official at-bat tonight and has been on base three times. Ryan Sapiti walked and scored on the best grand slam in the first. Struck out swinging in the second and looking in the fourth. No one out, and a runner in scoring position. First and second, no one out. Cook can put some distance between themselves and the Wolverines here in the sixth. And that curveball settles in for strike one from Drew Woody. BYU coming in 8-14, 2-4 in league. UVU 13-10, 2-2 in their league. The 0-1, that handcuffed Ryan, swing and a miss for 0-2. So Drew Woody gets ahead of... The Cougar right fielder hitting third in the batting order. And hitting 333 on the year is Ryan Sapiti. With runners in scoring position, it dips to 269. He's got Gamble at second, Anderson at first. The 0-2 to Sapiti. And Woody comes in low around the ankles. Hit the dirt for ball one. Drew Woody, jersey number 31. is the fifth Utah Valley pitcher tonight. BYU's gone with Jameson Ferraro and Carter Smith. And Carter's looked particularly good for BYU. The 0-2 curveball checked by Sapiti. And no dice on the appeal. One ball, two strikes. Beg your pardon, 2-2 two two the count to Sapiti. The 2-2. Two two. And that is a backward K. So Ryan Sapiti strikes out for the third time tonight and the second consecutive time looking. So two gone. Check that one out. That's the first out in the sixth. Two on and one out for Jacob Wilk. Wilk has two singles and two runs scored. He's two for three. He singled and scored on the vest. Grand slam in the first inning. Grounded out 6-3 in the third. Then led off the fifth with a single and scored on the Easton Jones two-run double. Jacob Wilkes scoring runs number 13 and 14 for him this year. That's off speed. Jacob lays off for ball one. One ball, no strikes, one out, and two on. The two on are Gamble, Tate Gamble at second, and Luke Anderson at first. Ryan Sapiti, three consecutive strikeouts in his last three plate appearances. Is out number one of inning number six, 1-0. Breaking ball popped up to short center. 
Patrick Mills jogs in, makes the catch. No tag and two gone. So after back-to-back walks for the Cougs here in the sixth, a strikeout and a flyout. And Cooper Vest will now bat on a one-for-three night. It was a big one. Grand slam in the first. First career grand slam for Coop, the BYU DH. He was one for four with an RBI against UVU last Tuesday. One for three with four RBI tonight. And as noted, the hit streak goes to ten for Coop. And no one's had a double-digit hit streak all year until Cooper Vest. Now, empty count, two out. Breaking ball. Hit to left field on the ground. Coming around to score is Tate Gamble. No throw home. 8-4 to four, BYU. Cooper Vast is second hit of the night and his fifth RBI of the night. Here in the top of the sixth, a single on the ground to left. And with two out, Parker Goff will hit as Gamble comes around to score from second. And advancing to second is Luke Anderson. So BYU now has gone from leading 4 nothing to being tied up at 4 to now leading 8-4. to four. And Cooper Vest has a 5-RBI night going. Career high. Previously was 3. Got to 4 in the first. As that's popped up to short center. Could this be trouble? Shortstop going back. Center fielder coming in. Does make the catch. Patrick Mills no trouble at all, as it turned out. So, on a fly out to center by Parker Goff. That'll do it for BYU. But... The Cougs score a run on a hit. There were no errors, and two were left on. We go to the bottom of the sixth. BYU 8, UVU 4 is our score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Welcome back to UCCU Ballpark here in Orem, Utah, home of the UVU Wolverines. UVU trailing BYU 8-4. to four. We have a new pitcher for BYU. Time for a PZ Printing pitching change. Brought to you by PZ Printing. PZ Printing, nothing inspires like print. From one Carter to another for BYU. From Carter Smith to Carter Foss. Carter Foss pitching for the first time since one week ago tonight against UVU. Didn't get it out. Gave up a hit and a walk against the Wolverines. He faces them one week later with a four-run lead this time, and he faces Garrett Broussard, the shortstop, to lead off the UVU sixth. BYU 8 and UVU 4 is our score. 1-0 goes to 2-0 from Foss to Broussard. Foss, the third Cougar pitcher tonight, and that's opposite field, gets down into the right field corner, Garrett Broussard rounding first into second. Throw coming from the right field corner from Sapiti. And not well covered, but backed up at third base by Easton Jones. Either way, it'll hold Broussard at second. So after an 0-for-2 start, it's a leadoff double for Broussard here in the sixth. BYU's actually being out hit in this game and leads by four. The Cougs have been incredibly economical with five hits. In their second game of two against St. Mary's on Saturday, BYU was out hit 8-4 and won the game 4-3. They're being out here 6-5 here and leading it 8-4. Eight, eight runs, five hits for BYU, four runs, six hits for UVU. Neither team's committed an error. Broussard at second, Callan Halverson now hits with no one out and a man on second. And that's high and away from Halverson. And so Parker Goff's going to jog on out and have a conversation with Carter Foss. Again, Foss's last outing came a week ago tonight. It wasn't a good one. Didn't get an out. Gave up a hit and a walk and was pulled. And here he's given up a double and is behind 1-0 to Callan Halverson. In that game last Tuesday, Foss threw only eight pitches before being taken from the game. One ball, no strikes. And that's a grounder to short. Chad Call easily gobbles it up, guns it over to Jacob Wilk on the 6-3. Runner holds it second, one gone for UVU here in the bottom of the sixth. So that should hopefully settle Carter Foss down a bit. Simple ground ball out, and the Lucas Piper will hit out of the nine hole. Solo shot in the second, and a fly out to center in the fourth on a one-for-two night for Lucas Piper, the UVU catcher. On the season, two RBI, and tonight... He has one to make it three. 
getting his fifth start of the year is all fourth behind home plate and Carter Foss delivers ball one to Piper Piper stepped out here so a reset the only reset that Piper will get in the at bat pitch count and the action count will now start at 20 no balls on the strike one out one on the one on is Garrett Broussard leadoff double here in the sixth a healthy hack and a swing and a miss 0-2. So Carter Foss gets ahead of Lucas Piper after getting a ground out from Halverson following the double from Broussard. We'll be two-thirds of the way home after this bottom of the sixth. And the 0-2 misses inside for ball one. BYU 8 and UVU 4. Cougs led by four. Saw UVU tie the game. The Cougs have taken another four-run lead, scoring the last four. An offensive conference is called for here by the UVU bench, and so coach out to converse with Lucas Piper. And that's noted as one of the conferences allowed. Home plate umpire Jeff Clough scribbling his notebook. He has one remaining. One ball, two strikes, one out, one on. We're bottom six in a game BYU leads by four. And that is a barrel on the shoulder, backward K. A strikeout for Carter Foss, and out number two following a leadoff double. So caught looking is Piper, and the top of the order due up now, and Daniel Dickinson with two gone. Dickinson walked and scored in the first, lined out to first in the second, struck out swinging in the fourth. BYU pitchers now with seven strikeouts to four free passes. Cougs have one wild pitch as a staff. That sliced opposite field out of play by the right-handed hitting Daniel Dickinson. No balls in a strike from Foss to Dickinson. So the Cougs trying to get out of this with a leadoff double, not hurting them here in the sixth. Broussard doubled to the right field corner to lead off the bottom of the sixth, and a Halverson ground out and a Piper strikeout on a backward K. Now with two gone is Dickinson hitting. A back pick at second. Sardi slaps down. And diving back safely is Broussard. Alex Sardina at second. Jacob Wilk at first. Chad Call at short. Easton Jones at third. The outfield, Anderson, Tate, Gamble, Sapiti left to right. That's high and well away for ball one. The count even one and one with two gone and one on. For bottom six. And BYU has restored an eight, a four-run lead. The Cougs had a four-run lead after a half inning tonight on a Cooper Vest Grand Slam. The 1-1. That's a take on ball two. Good eye from Dickinson, the third baseman for Utah Valley. His reached base streak has gone to 12 games with a walk in the first. And a three for four night against BYU last Tuesday. Hitless in this game. That is a ball away from getting on base again. Takes high for ball three from Carter Foss. Carter Foss, the third Cougar hurler. Jameson Ferraro, Carter Smith, and now Carter Foss. Three right-handers for BYU. The 3-1. Carter looks back at second, kicks and fires. And that's a swing and a miss for strike two. The count is full with two gone. So Carter Foss is settling in here nicely after giving up that leadoff double to Garrett Broussard. Patrick Mills is on deck. He's the big bat for UVU. Can they keep him in the on-deck circle? The Cougs in navy and gray. UVU in white with black pinstripes tonight. And that's a grounder to Jacob Wilk, a backhand. He will take it himself to first and gets him by a step. And the Cougs are out of the inning. Lead off, double, does no damage. For UVU, no runs on a hit, no errors. A runner left on. We go top seven. BYU eight, UVU four, our score on the new skin. BYU Sports Network.